Hey guys, let's do some calculus. It says find dy dx where y is equal to the natural log of e to the x over e to the x minus one. So we've got three things going on here, log derivatives, quotient rule, and chain rule. So first log derivatives, if you're taking the derivative of the natural log of x, that's gonna be equal to the derivative of x over x. So in this case, our x is this whole e to the x over e to the x minus one. So we're gonna have the derivative of e to the x over e to the x minus one over e to the x over e to the x minus one. So that's our first step. So we can rewrite these as a product where we're multiplying one over this times the derivative of this. Anytime you have one over a fraction, it's basically the reciprocal, so we can flip it upside down. You can put the e to the x minus one on top. So we have e to the x minus one over e to the x. So now we can focus on taking the derivative of this right here. That's gonna require the quotient rule. And these are the notes I like to use for quotient rule. So we have a low function and a high function. And it's just low times the derivative of high minus high times the derivative of low over low squared. So here's our big bar. So the low is this e to the x minus one, and then d high is gonna be the derivative of the top function, minus, and then the high function is e to the x, and then d low is the derivative of this e to the x minus one. And on bottom we have low squared, so it's gonna be e to the x minus one squared. And now we can clean this up. The derivative of e to the x is just e to the x, and the derivative of e to the x minus one is also just e to the x. So now let's clean this up with some distribution. e to the x times e to the x would be e to the two x, and negative one times e to the x is negative e to the x. And then we're going to subtract. And then once again, e to the x times e to the x is e to the 2x. And on bottom, we have e to the x minus 1 squared. So I'm going to write it multiplying by itself. And on top here, e to the 2x minus e to the 2x, those are going to cancel each other out. And this e to the x minus 1 and this e to the x minus 1 can also cancel each other out. And since there's nothing remaining here, we'll put a one placeholder. And this e to the x and this e to the x can also cancel each other out. And they're both going to need one placeholders. Now we have our dy dx. It's equal to negative 1 over e to the x minus one. And that's the answer to our question. That is the derivative of this function right here. So let's put a box around it. How exciting. If you guys want to try more problems like this, I have a link down in the description.